There we go. Steal for Manu. And now we got Don running down a break. And he's posterizing everybody. Using a right stick. This guy, Don, is just built different. Dark Matter Dawn Maker. Probably the card that I was most excited about today. Yeah, Blue Ball is fun, but Dawn is looking to be just different, man. Seven foot, seven foot one wingspan, and is playing our small forward position. Now, I got mine for about 100k. None of them are going below 100k. None of the Dark Matters right now, so it's a little bit difficult to get your hands on one, but they are crazy. Thon has jump shot 47 on the very quick timing, the Kobe upper release, quick dribble style, Williams combo, KD size up, Lillard cross, Scotty behind the back, and the long at the layup package, and it's just a damn demigod at that small bar position. It's going to be super fun to use them. But before we fully get into stats and badges, a message from the sponsor of today's video. If you need level 40, unlimited, limited, clutch time, domination, triple threat, or anything else on your 2k account, grind it, contact RoseNBA on Twitter and let them know X sent you. Alright, now we can flip over Dawn and check out the 99 offense, 99 defense, 7 foot height, 221 power forward, playing our small forward, and he's good at everything besides that basketball IQ that they for some reason keep lowering, I don't know why, but... 90 fade, 87 post tug, 88 post control, 95 dropping layup, has a 94 midi and 3 point shot, 90 free throw, 90 standing and driving dunk, 95 ball handle and absolutely amazing playmaking, 94 block, 88 steel, perimeter and interior defense and that was the one thing I loved about the pink diamond bowl ball which is the defense on him was, or I said bowl ball, Dawn Maker, which the defense was absolutely crazy. Has 94 in both rebounding, 94s in everything speed, a 92 vert, 90 strength, 98 stamina and a 92 lateral quickness which is huge on a seven footer. Now, when it comes to his tendencies, 95 pass interception on ball steal, contest shot and block shot. And we have 36 Hall of Fame badges. So one more, one or two more than the normally given dark matters. Pitch and shoot, corner special, difficult shots, fearless, acrobat, ankle breaker, hyper drive, which we love to see. Dimer, rim protector and clamps, quick chain, interceptor and intimidator, post riser, rebound chaser, pogo stick, post move lockdown. House Defender, Circus 3, Limitless, Spot Up, and Chef, Fillery Finisher, Downhill, Handles for Days, Needle Thudder, Quick First Step, Space Crater, Unpluckable, Deadeye, and Sniper, Stop and Pop, Bullet Passer, Volume Shooter, Fast Twitch, Menace, and Triple Red Juke. He basically is insanely good at everything, and they just made him like a slightly worse finisher so they could do stuff to play making a little bit more, which I am perfectly fine with. Don Maker is looking crazy. Uh, we do have 40 gold badges to go along with it. If you wanted to, you could add the uh, four badges that Don doesn't have. And then if you finish off the collect level, give him just a full 80 Hall of Fame badge, Don Maker, which might not be a bad shout. Uh, but those gold badges, Brick Wall, Post Spin, Drop Stepper, Break Starter, Lob City, Glue Hands, Pick Dodger, and Pick Pocket. We have Box, Defensive Leader, Hook Specialist, Mismatch Expert, which I don't think will be in effect uh, much for Don Maker because you have to be a seven footer, uh, seven foot six, or seven foot three or taller guy that's contesting some of those so not many taller defenders than thon maker uh rise up blinders fade ace giant slayer pro touch bailout set shooter stop and pop tight handles green machine and hot zone hunter unshippable limitless takeoff or general post playmaker ball shipper and hustler i mean thon maker is just absolutely insane but what else would you expect from a seven foot small forward so i'm super excited hopefully you are too let me know what you think about them down in the comment section below without further ado let's hop right into the gameplay with dark matter thon maker all right, so I'm trying out some new cards, but we got Steve Nash, Joe Dumars, which is uh, interesting. Wiggins, Marcus Gasol, and Bam Adebayo. Uh, I think we definitely have an advantage at each one of those positions. And uh, Steve Nash and Joe Dumars, that is not a very intimidating backcourt. But Wiggins guarding uh, Thon, he's a great perimeter defender, but I think we'll be okay. But I'm trying out Tyrese along with him. Uh, but obviously, Thon Maker is going to be our .7 footer, uh, which is just insane, insane, insane. Uh, probably gonna be one of the best cards in the entire game right now. I don't know what that Wiggins is doing, but let's drive it and get the dunk instantly with Dawn Maker. The guy is already showing out why he's a, uh, a crazy small forward. There we go. Manute Ball already is stealing the rebounds of everybody out there on the court. And Steve Nash is the one that wants to guard him. We'll take the fadeaway though with Dawn Maker. And that is going to be money five points for him right now. And the fact that a seven footer is doing this is just it's unfair. Oh, Don getting a steal already this time on Andrew Wiggins. We have him uh, running a muck out here, and he's uh, setting a screen with Manu, but then not really doing uh, too much in terms of playing defense on it. So we'll just run over here. He's jump shot 47 on very quick to get yet another green. Eight points right now for Don, along with a cheeky little steal, and it looks like we may already be seeing a quit. 
All right, so we got Manu passing it in, and there is the quit right as I'm uh, about to count the next one. All right, let's hop into game number two. I'm not really surprised about that one, though. All right, I see another Stevie Nash. Apparently, people uh, people are liking Steve Nash. The Invincible Michael Jordan, that court is an absolute demon. LeBron, Kareem, and Sean Kemp. All right, we just, again, we got an advantage. LeBron against Thon Maker. I'm giving the advantage to Thon Maker. And Manu, how are you losing the jump ball like that consistently? Come on now. There we go. Bait out the threes. And Patrick Ewing stealing the rebounded Thon Maker. Not exactly what we're looking for. Uh, this game, but let's get that and uh, oh actually we don't want to do that fade away Oh, well, we'll give it back to him wide open in the corner and he can smack that one out three points right there for Thon Absolutely showing out so far Oh, there we go good board by Tyrese Halliburton get this one to Thon and he's a playmaker So we'll ship that over to Malik Seeley who's getting a little sidestep and banging that one out and a second quit right there People just cannot deal with three seven footers out there on the lineup I'm going to have to do a third game to try to give you guys a little bit more gameplay with Thon because I want to use them more, but we'll see how that goes. All right, Derek Fisher and Marcus Smart. Very, very small backcourts that we're seeing right now. Jerry Sloan, Bill Lambie, and I think that was a Zion Williams at the power forward, if I'm not mistaken. Um, either way, some interesting teams. We, again, have a massive size advantage, so I'm not really uh, too threatened by this lineup here. All right, pass this one into Tyrese, and he was flying at us with that Marcus Smart, and boom, Thon wide open. Oh, I was hoping for a three-pointer, but a midi is just as good. Two points right there, and you can see jump shot 47. It's a beautiful jumper, especially on very quick. Same one as uh, that invincible draw on the beat. Oh, there we go. Manu is just absolutely stealing rebounds from everybody and their mother, and using that uh, Scotty behind the back to really do something, and give me a little, ooh, a little spin jumper right there. All right, a little too much uh sauce for thon's liking we'll call that screen sidestep it just a little bit and bang it out no with thon oh there you go thon tipping it up to make sure he gets that rebound instead of the uh the wonderful oh zion and bone look at that absolute dot out to malik Seely in the corner thon maker is literally running the entire offense you give him the ball or he gets the rebound and then he can just absolutely run on the fast break like it is nothing it is crazy what this guy can do but oh I thought uh, Manute was out there guarding Jerry Sloan for some reason. Oh, there we go. Get the, the defense, get the boards. I mean, three seven-footers basically means we are always getting the rebound and fade that out to the corner. Thank you very much. And another green for Don Maker, 5-1 and one so far. I mean, the guy just has such a good jumper, has great defense, great rebounding, and he's stupid tall, moves great as well. You just you love the card out there. Oh, I forgot to actually uh, put this in the uh, the freelance that I wanted to. So, oh, instead of subbing, we'll just get this quickly into the hands of uh, Tyrese, who he is intentionally following for some reason, uh, and call that four out one active uh, freelance just because it helps. Yeah, it helps a little bit in uh, spacing the floor, and whenever you can have a little bit of help uh, spacing the floor, you might as well take it. Thon right around it, absolutely wide open, and eight points right there. I mean, this guy is moving like a guard at seven foot and can chuck up threes like that and just absolutely cash him out. I mean, it's it's nothing but good times with him easy contest right there when you got such tall players on a court throw it up to thon maker to have him just absolutely run this uh fast break offense hop to the side do a little shimmy shake and pass it down to ewing easy little assist right there as well for thon eight and two the guys having himself a game oh and he's throwing it right to thon this time and look at that see Lee wide open running it to the corner and he's dropping that one eight one and three and now a steal for thon maker it's just having him on the court for the defense the rebounding and everything else that he also can bring to the team is just it's so perfect man but especially the defense there we go steal for manu and now we got thon running down a break and he's posterizing everybody using the right stick this fight thon is just built different Oh, Tyrese getting the steal right there. So he's just running into the feet. And boom, you got Malik Seeley running again for the green with that Ray Allen jumper. Fourth assist for Thon Maker. I'm telling y'all, the perfect card to run the fast break with. There we go. More defense again. Get the board and then throw this one up to it. And uh, oh, Malik was kind of running open in the corner. Uh, not exactly working this time. And we'll just get another dish town pass to him. Another green right there. Fifth assist for Thon Maker. I mean, Thon is literally just piecing apart the defense. And Malik best catch and shoot card Loki in the game right now there we go get the block with my new bull and now we got Tyrese running with it oh don't forget about 
the the main man here oh i meant to momentum cross that uh that i mean that kind of works green in the corner for dud 13 points the guy is just a menace in a 27 to 3 lead all right malik Sealy's there honestly just to uh grab this one and uh oh that's actually the end of the game didn't realize that thought maker was just uh get me so locked in i was just having a fun time so uh, we'll just quickly check out the box for and I'll give you my final thoughts um, on this Don Maker card here, who is, uh, let me tell you, absolutely amazing. Um, he is a cool 13, 1 and 5 with 1 steal, 5 of 8 from the field, and 3 of 4 from 3. Malik Sealy also being an absolute beauty out there on the court. And Don is just perfect. Having a small forward, 7 foot, 7 foot 1 wingspan that is going to have all of Fame Clamps, all of Fame Interceptor, Intimidator, Menace, Post move lockdown and rim protector, gold pick dodger, gold brick wall. I mean, the guy literally can't be back down. He helps you so much at just closing out lanes, getting good contests, blocking shots, just getting steals and making sure passing lanes just aren't open. And he's just perfect for stuff like that. And the jump shot 47 on very quick, super smooth, super consistent. It's easy to time. He's got the Scotty behind the back, which is a great full court move. Sometimes I will say he doesn't feel super bursty or super quick, but he is sipping foot, so it's kind of expected. He doesn't have the greatest of running styles either, let's be honest. Uh, but I think Thon Maker is absolutely insane. Uh, it's going to be a competition between him and Bull Bull, but I don't want to tell you who I like more until I get to use Bull Bull. So I'm going to try to see if I can get a hold of him uh, quickly, do a gameplay with that to kind of compare the two cards. But all around, Thon Maker is absolutely insane. Whatever you got to pay for the card, he is crazy, crazy good. And you can get a full 80 Hall of Fame batched up when this card is literally end game. Absolutely insane. Uh, let me know what you guys think about him down in the comment section below. Like the video if you guys did enjoy and subscribe if you guys are new. We'll be a great today, and I'll see you in the next video. Buy it cheap and safe NBA 2K22 MT at NBA2King.com. You can use code EXCAPAR, that's E X C A P A R, for 5% off your entire purchase.